Hey everyone, today on the Hobby Grotto we're painting tiny Imperial Fists in a colour scheme that would be great for both Epic 40k and Legion's Imperialis. We're starting with a base coat of Avalon Sunset over the whole model. And I've got this nicely watered down because Avalon can be a bit of a thick paint sometimes. It's part of why it has such great coverage, but for a base coat, you want it nice and thin. And we're gonna come back and do a second coat too for consistency. You could avoid painting the parts that aren't gonna be yellow in this stage if you want, but I just find it easier and quicker to base coat the whole model and then come back and repaint the other areas. You could even use an airbrush or spray for this step if you want. And you may also notice that this is an older style Epic 40k Rhino I'm painting. The new Legion's Imperialis miniatures aren't out yet in Australia at the time of making this video. But I really wanted to nail down my colour scheme. And I've got a bunch of these little guys floating about, so why not? Now I'm coming back and repainting the black areas as well as the metallic areas. And I'm using a very dark grey here because I think that works better than a straight black, particularly on vehicles which have seen the elements. Straight black often looks a little bit unfinished to me. And on Imperial Fizz vehicles, you can choose to put on as much black as you want. It really creates a nice contrast with the yellow. It's just gonna come down to the style you want for your vehicles. I'm not going too overboard here, but I may very well mix it up across different units. I just like the yellow so much, I don't wanna take away from it with lots of black. I'm quickly coming back and adding in some silver for the metallic areas. Again, I think these models look nice when these details are fairly minimal, particularly on miniatures of this scale. You only really need one tone of silver and the true metallic metal plus the wash will do the rest. And I think Ironbreak is a good standard silver, but I'm also quite partial to a darker silver like Iron Warriors. And a darker silver as well can create more contrast depending on your scheme. Now that we've got all the base coats down, it's time to hit the Null Oil. Any kind of black or brown wash is going to work great with this colour scheme and scale of mini because vehicles like this have all kinds of cracks and crevices which are perfect for washes and dark washes like this really boost up that contrast which is more important the smaller you get in scale. Another great thing about washes of course is how much they speed everything up so you can paint a whole bunch of vehicles like this in one go and get them out onto the tabletop. Now that the wash is all dry, you can see how well it works on this kind of mini, but now it's time for some layers. Before I get onto the yellow, I'm just touching up some of the black areas here that looked a bit patchy. You can even do a gray highlight on the black at this stage, depending on the size of the areas. I did also go back and add some pure Abaddon black into the deepest recesses, like on the door as well, um, for some additional shading. The first layer I'm doing here is Avalon Sunset, of course, and it's important when doing this to make sure you leave the wash and all the cracks and crevices for shading while still getting a good amount of coverage for the yellow. These layers will blend and work better with nice thin coats of paint, and because all the paint is translucent, you actually start to build subtle highlights with just multiple layers of the same color paint, focusing the second and third layers on progressively more raised areas of the miniature. It takes a bit of practice, but it's a very handy technique once you get it going. And if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like and comment. If you're painting epic scale minis of your own, let me know what factions and color schemes you're working on. I may just focus on them in an upcoming video. The Avalon Sunset has given us a nice, bold, consistent yellow here. And now we're going to brighten it up further with some Aerial Yellow, a paint I never truly know how to pronounce. This layer is covering more ground than an edge highlight, but I'm still concentrating it on the raised areas and natural highlight zones. And this is going to bring up the saturation of our yellow. If you want a darker, more grungier yellow, you can be a bit more sparing with this stage. But I have to say, I do like a bright, bold yellow on the battlefield. It's one of the reasons why Imperial Fists are a personal favorite of mine when it comes to Space Marine chapters. To finish off the yellow, I'm adding some strategic edge highlights with a mix of aerial yellow and white. And this is completely optional. You don't necessarily need to be highlighting miniatures this small, but if you have the time and patience, it can add a nice look of completeness to the paint job while also taking a slight edge off the brightness of the yellow.
I almost forgot to paint the headlights. You can paint these any color really, but I'm just going for a nice neutral white so as not to distract from the rest of the colors. I might change these down the line, but this will be perfectly fine for now. And we're all done and I'm really happy with how this one turned out. A nice bold yellow color scheme is always welcome on the battlefield. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time on the Hobby Grotto.